G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're looking at the backcountry cuisine. The roast beef and vegetables flavour. Feast dried beef with herb, gravy, vegetables and creamy mashed potato. Uh, it's a size small which is a net weight of 90. It's a chilli rating of mild and makes 340 grams. Uh, that's super bad. Same as the normal ones that if you haven't seen before. So they pull open the base at uh, corners, shake bag to loosen contents. So that means here. I think I always do is, I nearly forgot then, was squeeze the zipper tight inside together. Then fold it over. There's been a couple of times I've ripped this open and some of the actual uh, freeze dried flavouring and everything has come out the top. <coughs> tear open bag at top, uh, tear notch. Now, I don't know if you can see there, the little notch here and here, and there's also another one here and here. We'll be tearing the top ones first and then we'll be putting the water in to rehydrate the meal and once it's rehydrated we'll tear from these two notches along the bag and that turn the actual packaging into a bowl to eat a meal out of. So there's no need for one of the long reach spoons you can get away with a small teaspoon size spoon. So if you want to be even ultra light there you go. So we've shaken that up the next thing that do is tear the top. That's a good one straight across. Now he goes wonk. Okay, preparation. Remove potato pouch. Oh, losing some of it. I think I should have removed the pouch first, don't you? And then shaken it. <laughs> so it's a mashed potato pouch. And you add 125ml, which is half a cup, of boiling water to the meal pouch. And add 125ml, half a cup of boiling water to the potato pouch. Stir and stand each pouch for 10 to 15 minutes. So, move them out of the way for a moment. Let's just do that back up there. Oh, smells good. Let's get the gas turned on. that over there out of the way so it's not so noisy. I've got 250ml of water already prepared in there. As I say, here's one I made earlier. And I'm using the lid on the pot so it holds the heat in and uses less gas on the burner and heats the water quicker. Now while that's going through, let's see what's in here. Ingredients, mashed potato, with your flaked preservatives, antioxidants, blah blah blah. Yeah, a load of different stuff. Oils, canola oils, concentrates, salt, soy. Nutrition information, uh, serves pack one. Uh, serving is 340 grams once prepared. And the actual measurements are based on a, the average quantity per serving. Energy uh, 1570 kilojoules, which is 375 calorie, which is protein 20.4 grams. A fat total 13.1, of which saturated is 5.2, 
carbs are 41.1 and sugars are 13.7 and sodium is high again which is 2010 milligrams well, it's not high it's quite large too but yeah so while the water boils I'll speed the camera up and I'll be back to you in about 10 minutes and I'll have a quick look then and if we need to we'll leave it a bit longer Okay, water's boiling. So let's turn that off. Let's open this one. Let's get my knife be easier. I'm going to wash my hands on it. I think it's just slippy. Open the bottom of the pouch to make it somewhere for it to sit on. Make it stable. Yep, it's about half of it by the looks of it. If I need to, I'll warm some more up and put it in and top it up. And the other 125ml did it say? Let's go back to it. Yep, the other half a cup into here. Let's give it a mix, get the spoon into all them corners. Get, make sure we get all the flavouring out. I set the timer for the water instead of for the food, so I've reset it now. See what's when it's all mixed together. Let's clean the table. So we started that, I'd say two minutes ago. So that'll take us to the uh, 33 mark. Uh, I'm saying 31 mark on there for 10 minutes. With these normally, if you've seen any of my videos, I always normally end up giving them an extra 5 minutes to the 15 minutes, um, because they never, or haven't found one yet, to be ready at the 10 minute mark, so I think your 15 minutes, as long as you don't mind waiting, is a better number to aim for. Okay, I'll speed the camera back up. <laughs> wondering where I am, I'm back out on the Bibbleman Trek and I'm at the Swamp Oak Shelter. I'm doing seven days out here and I'm travelling from Dwelling Up down to Collie which is just over 130 kilometres. So that is in miles, I'll put up there or down there somewhere. 
temperature I'd had a look about 30 degrees centigrade so what's that that's just below the just below the 90 isn't it or just about 90 degrees Fahrenheit so it's not too bad and the time is 14.26 so it's going to start cooling down soon it's not going to get that cool it's, I think it will get down to 16 or 18 degrees centigrade tonight so it's not going to be too bad I'm just going to filter some water out of the rainwater tank so I've got a drink don't fancy a hot drink when it's this warm and the water filter I'm using is the Soya Mini a good little filter goes was it 0.1 microns so not much going to get through there I'll do a proper review on this at a later date I've been using it now for probably just over a year and as long as you back flush it just keep going and going and going. I suppose it's the same as anything as long as you look after it properly. So that's 500 ml of water filtered. Oh, that's better. Okay, so that's, let's give it a stir. this in here mix them together I don't know why I put the mashed potato and the meat and veg in the separate pouch. Let's just have it all in the same one. And they hydrate all at the same time. Most of us are just going to throw it in together anyway. So. I mean, if I have this again, I'll just do that. I'll just throw all the feed dry stuff in there together and just throw the whole, to, uh, whole cup of water in there. nearly 15 minutes. I'm wondering what I've been grabbing, pinching and slapping. Mosquitoes. They're bloody everywhere here. I feel one bitter me on my on my belly. Oh, 
que era. Right, I mentioned the two lower notches. I'm going to give them a, a tear now. Which wasn't a bad one. But Now the large packaging, caribou fly, has turned into a bowl to have a meal in. Doesn't look the best, it looks a bit sloppy but well, a bit of a mess with it all mi mixed together. It makes it a lot easier to eat though. Let's give it another quick stir, mix it in more. Here we go, taste test. Consistency wise, I think I could have done with putting a bit more water in, about another 50 ml. And left it maybe a couple more minutes. Mm. Yeah, it needed a bit more water and a bit more time to rehydrate properly. It's not far off, it's probably about 90%, 95% done. But flavour wise, flavour wise, it's not too bad. You can taste the meat, you can taste the vegetables, so all the flavours are there. Taste the mashed potato for definite. Still tastes like rehydrated mashed potato, but nowhere near as bad as it used to years back. I think after eating this I'm going to jump in the hammock to get away from the mozzies and the, the flies. Mind you, I did that last time and I fell asleep for about three hours. Had woke up for about an hour, went back to sleep, ready for the next morning's walk. I tell you, it's nowhere near my favourite. I can see you taste it all. It tastes okay. I wouldn't say, well, I don't think it tastes nice. But it doesn't taste bad. I couldn't recommend it. Like I said, I'm not going to buy what I personally think of it. Hmm. Bit disappointed in that one. Like I said maybe if I'd put more water in it and gave it a little bit longer, the flavours may have come out more, or the actual, I don't know if it's if mainly the flavours, I think it's the flavours and a bit of the consistency of it. I'll finish it off because I've got a 19km uh, walk tomorrow to the next shelter, and the temperature is going to be about 30. Four degrees centigrade by just after midday, <coughs> so it'll probably be an early start, and hopefully get there by lunchtime before it gets too hot, or just the last of the big heat as it comes in. Mm. No, so I can't recommend it. I'm going to eat it, like I said, but. Mm. Hey. If you got anything from this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all the future videos. And as a little list comes up, click on the all so you do receive all of them. Excuse me. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.